Greetings everybody. Uh, this is the English version of the presentation about who we are at El Salvador Cricket and what we do. Um, also with a special focus on our international tournament, the Volcano Cup. Okay, for those of you who don't know, this is where we are located globally. Uh, Guatemala, Honduras and Nicaragua are our neighbours. And if you look over here, you kind of see where we are at a, at a zoomed out scale. You've got kind of Mexico and going up into the United States. You're going to South America there. So that's where we're located. We're the smallest little country in Central America. That's us. That's El Salvador. Okay. So within our setup, we do run a domestic league. It's a very small league. Um, two, three, four teams sometimes. It kind of, we have got a very... Um, mobile target that that play cricket and one season they'll be here and next season some people will be gone so we, get, we kind of vary two three teams um, sometimes four a couple of years back we had four but we have a domestic league we participate in international tournaments we travel uh, we have a good relationship with Guatemala and we play them uh, several times there is a Central American championship which we sometimes get involved with um, the issue is, uh, as always with um, cricket leagues like ours, is, is money, is funds. So we travel when we can, um, but yes, we do participate in international tournaments and have a domestic league. We have friendly relationships with, and I, I, I choose those words carefully because we're not affiliated with either of them, but one is our local Olympic committee. They're called COES, C-O-E-S. Um, they have standards, they have criteria that we don't meet, so it's not because we don't want to be affiliated, it's that uh, there are certain things which we just are unable to meet. So we are aware, we've, we've had meetings with them, they support us when they can. Same as International Cricket Council, we're com in communication with them. They have given us the official thumbs up to our tournament, um, where we, we send them information about what we do. So we have friendly relationships with our local Olympic Committee and internationally with the ICC, but we're not affiliated with either of them. Uh, that links to the second point, we have no central funds. We don't get any money from anywhere, um, which you know, is part of the reason why we're small. We have no formal sponsors either, it's just cricket is not a recognised sport in our area. It's difficult to go to the big sponsors and ask them to get to give us any money. Uh, we have had numerous small businesses um, kind of support us occasionally, here and there, give us a free meals or, you know, subsidize our uniforms and we have been able to establish minor relationships but we don't have any big regular formal sponsors um, as we would like. Okay so that's a little background. This is the main point of this presentation introducing you to the Copa Volcan also known as the Volcano Cup. We're going in Spanish and English there. It's an international cricket tournament and we host it. This is the difference. We host it every year. It's our tournament. Okay, some of the other things like Central American Championship, it'll be Belize hosting it, one neat version, and then Mexico and moves around, but not the Copa Volcan. The Copa Volcan is ours. We host it every year. It's our international cricket tournament. Okay, so it's, it guarantees the national team at least some international competition. Like I said, we can't always raise the funds to go and travel and participate in tournaments hosted by others. So this guarantees that at least once a year we have an international tournament. We have international games for our national team. All right, so I'm going to talk you through Copa Volcan. These are the teams that have participated. So the, almost the advantage of not being affiliated with ICC is we can invite whoever we like. Right, there's no criteria, there's no external limitations on who can come along. So I'll talk through these teams briefly. The Central Americans All-Stars is, as the name suggests, it's just players from within the Central American area. They either don't, so for example, it just randomly might be that one year Mexico can't participate in our tournament, but there's a couple of Mexicans who want to. So they would join up with the Central American All-Stars. There's a few players in Nicaragua, and there's not a national team in Nicaragua. So they join us. It's a group of cricket cricketing players within Central America. They all lump together, they all get together and form the Central American All-Stars. Okay, a little bit a similar story as Globetrotters. It's the same idea, although obviously it's not limited to Central America. These are just individual players um, from anywhere around in the world who want to participate. Some people have showed interest and said, can we participate in the, uh, the Volcano Cup? And I said, sure, come along, let's, let's set up a Globetrotters 11. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk through the, the club teams first. 
Hollywood, Golden Oldies, that's as it's kind of explained, they're based in the in California. They're Golden Oldies, they're an old um, an elderly team. I don't know what the limitations in terms of age are. I think they've got to be 50 or something. But they come from Hollywood and they tour about. Um, and they came and uh, played with us. The oral experts, it doesn't actually say they're from Trinidad and Tobago. Um, and a lot of them are actually dentists. So I think it came from a kind of dentist cooperative or something like that. But they participated. Then the rest are all national teams. The national team of El Salvador, the national team of Guatemala, the national team of Costa Rica, the national team of Mexico, and the national team of Panama. So those are the teams that have participated, not every year, right? I'm going to show you in the next slide. But they, at some point in our Volcano Cup history, have participated in the tournament. Okay, so here is our record. So we've been around, we're going on to the 12th version, we've been around since 2010. Uh, you can see the first couple of years, it was just two teams, Costa Rica won, they didn't come back, but we got cast, Central American All-Stars. Then 2013, we expanded and there were three teams and we we're back down to two. And for the first, what, eight versions, we varied between two or three. Ninth, we got the Hollywood came along. We actually met them at a Central American tournament in 2017, invited them to come down. They came down, we went back up to three. In the 10th version, it really took off. We did a little bit of promotion and we got five teams participating. We introduced day-night games. We spent a bit of money on um, preparing the field. And then the 11th version just last year was, got my dates wrong there. The 11th version um, in December 2019, that was supposed to be five as well, and one team cancelled at the last moment. But that's kind of what we aim for now. We're aiming for the five-team tournament. Okay, it's bothering me the dates now. Anyway, we've had 11 versions, and those are them. Um, so we do, it is, it is a tournament that um, we value, that we, we like this tournament. Um, for us, it's an opportunity for various things. It's an opportunity to play some international cricket. Right, objective number one. But it's also kind of like to, you know, to show off our country to, to international visitors. Um, and we like to create a bit of history to the tournament. We don't have the ICC keeping records for us, so we, we, we keep our own record. Um, and this is just a few examples of the records we keep. Okay, so these are the top individual efforts of each tournament. So I'm just going to go through kind of, let's go to number three randomly. All right, and the highest individual score was by Gurev, he was a Costa Rican, all right? The most aggregate runs, so across his two, three, four innings, however much it has been, he scored 132. And he have ended up with the highest average. So sometimes it is the same person, but other times, for example, most recently, highest individual score was by Purav, whereas John O'Davidson actually scored the most individual runs, and Purav ended up with the highest. So we keep these kind of records, and there are awards we give and prizes we give. Um, we also keep records on your behalf as a team, okay? So uh, this is bowling, all right? So we've got uh, the most wickets, aggregate wickets, for example, Volcano Cup 3. It was Simon Cullen from El Salvador. He took eight. Those are the best figures. The overall in red is like the greatest number of uh, wickets taken in any one tournament. That was by Raj from Trinidad and Tobago. And Hardik, he had the best figures in the game and so we, we keep these records and we like to celebrate them and put them up for people to challenge themselves from year to year okay this is what i was talking about by us keeping records for you as a team when you participate and we've got a record of every single innings by every single person every batting bowling bowling spell we've got it all um so we say okay the final placings central american all-stars have participated one two three four five times uh, they are the current holders. Uh, the highest team score in T20 for the American All-Stars, 197. So it allows each tournament, it allows a kind of captain to set targets and to celebrate victories. They overtake that. They, they, there'll be prizes for setting your, your team, for breaking team records as well. The lowest conceded in a completed innings, 59. Right? And, um, and then we go along and say, each team that participates, we keep your records. And if you come back for a second time, we give you a record and say, no, these are some things, you, these are targets you might want to set. Uh, Purav, 531, he's the top scorer for Central American All-Stars. Uh, these are the best bowling figures from each tournament. Um, we do, we like to keep our records. Uh, people have mentioned occasionally you know, that I scored 47, not 45, and there's occasionally minor errors, but 
Once we've written it, that's what it is. It goes down in our records, okay? And we do. It's, it's, we like to keep statistics. This is a tournament we take seriously. We like it. We're proud of it. And um, we want that reflected in the way we go about organizing our tournament. All right. So I'll just finish up by showing you some pictures. Um, that's our national team from a couple of years ago, the Salvadorian national team. The two umpires are, they actually flew in from Canada, ICC umpires. They flew in from Canada. Uh, we've got to prepare our field. We share the field with a football team. So obviously when we're coming up to the tournament, we want that to be as flat as possible. It doesn't compare with it, with someone like Lords, obviously not. But you know, we like it. We do the best we can anyway. We know you guys, teams are coming, teams are spending money to get you. And we want it to be as best as we can make it. So we get out a roller and two, three days before we roll as flat as we can. We have our, our trophy, of course. Um, one of the reasons why it's called the Volcano Cup is that's the, that's the view. You can see come from one side of the field in the background. We have um, Bokoron, Volcano Bokoron. Um, okay, and just the normal kind of things you'd see from any typical tournament. The teams, Guatemala, are a team that come full of youth. Uh, we have done day-night games. That's been introduced, very popular. Um, don't know any tournaments in the area that offer the same thing. So we like it. This is our cup. This is our volcano cup. Okay. Uh, and then lastly, then is just the invitation. This is going out for 2020. But we can invite anyone we like. Any you can come as a team, or if your club team, you realize your club team isn't going to put together an entire 11, two, three of one, one, two, three, four, five, any amount of people may say, you know, can we come along and we'll either find a team, find a place for you in Globetrotters or something. But we want to open it up. We want people there. Um, there is a participation fee, uh, like I've mentioned earlier on. Uh, we don't have sponsors. Uh, we don't have funds from the ICC. Uh, so we do part of this is a fundraising tournament for us as well. Okay, guys, I hope that gives you a little bit of information about who we are, what we do, and a special little information on our Volcano Cup, our international tournament. We hope you can join us at some point. Thank you.